Hi, it's Yumi here and today I'm gonna show you the best Pokemon ROM hacks and fan games that I've been playing these weeks. But before we dive in, I want to know if you have played any interesting ROM hacks lately. Let me know in the comments so I can try them out. It can be the next ROM hack I review. Picking up where we left off, we are gonna start with Pokemon Resolute. This game takes us to the Silent region, where we play as Logan or Alma, a Pokemon trainer from Cedar City. You should get ready for a wild ride because this game features not one, not two, but three whole regions. Silen, Tyren, and Jato. I mean, does the creator know that we don't have that much free time? Anyways, your mission is to travel with your bestie, Elijah, and help Professor Avery collect data on all the Pokemon you encounter. Sounds easy peasy, right? But wait, there's more. On your journey, you'll come across the mysterious Team Mirage. These guys were causing chaos in the Tyran region just a year ago, but now they claim they want to help humanity. What's up with that? Can you trust them? It's up to you guys to figure out what's really going on in the Silent region. And let's talk about features. New regions, new gyms, obviously, a battle department for trainers from all over the world, and a whopping mix of Pokemon from different generations, including some Alola forms of Vulpix and Ninetales. Plus, we've got Mega Evolutions. Can we just say that this is so epic? Now, I must warn you, some of the new tiles might be a little rough around the edges, but well, nobody's perfect. Just think of them as vintage or rustic and you're good to go. What do you guys think of Pokemon Resolute? Have you played it? Or are you planning to? Let me know in the comments. Next up is Pokemon Order and Chaos. This game takes us to the region of Mando, where we're thrown right into the middle of a prophecy. You play as one of a pair of twins destined to battle it out to decide who will represent their province. Talk about sibling rivalry, am I right? The story in this game is a bit darker and definitely geared towards a more mature audience. So don't say I didn't warn you. With over 30 hours of gameplay, new regions, a brand new storyline, fake mon, and adult content, this ROM hack is not for the faint of heart. Set in a world plagued by war, hunger, and disease, you'll have to prove your worth by collecting badges and challenging the Border League. Once you're crowned champion, you'll enslave the other province and be worshipped as a god. No pressure guys. I have to admit, the concept of this game is pretty intense, and the fact that it's centered around twins battling it out adds a unique twist to the typical Pokemon formula. And let's not forget the whole, enslaving a province, thing, which is definitely a far cry from your usual, catch em all, objective. The next Pokemon game is, Pokemon Mega Power. This one explores the world of Mega Evolution, asking the question, will the power of Mega Evolution change the future? This ROM hack was created by 1158, who's put together an amazing and unique game experience. It has new regions like Avara, Land, and the Savi Islands from Pokemon Fired and Leaf Green. New gym leaders are waiting for you too. We all know how much we love those gym battles right? Pokemon Mega Power includes all the Mega Evolutions and Pokemon from all Pokemon Gens up to Gen 7. They also threw in some new tiles and graphics, though they admit they might be a bit rough around the edges. But well, nobody's perfect. We appreciate the effort. The story follows Neil or Tyra, depending on which character you choose, and they are talented scientists from the Avara region, who are trying to create a powerful Pokemon called Mewtwo. Spoiler alert, they succeed. But that's not enough for our ambitious protagonists. They want to make Mewtwo even stronger by enabling it to Mega Evolve without ordinary Mega Stones. The only problem is, they don't have the funds to make it happen. Enter Casper, a mysterious businessman and leader of Team Delta. He offers to help Neil or Tyra finish their experiment, but at what cost? Should our protagonists trust this shady character? You'll have to play to find out. Now, onto the second ROM hack we have Pokemon Fat Kid. Oh, you know you're in for a good time with a name like that. This hilarious game was created by Lil Pug and brings a lot of humor and fun to the Pokemon world. In Pokemon Fat Kid, you get to play as the chubby guy we all know and love from the Pokemon games. The one who's always there to remind us that technology is incredible. Well, guess what? This time, he's the hero, and the hero we deserve. 
This ROM hack has a bunch of great features, like new trainer sprites, a new villainous team called Team Hippie, and Porygon as the starter Pokemon with six interchangeable forms. Talk about variety. You'll also find new tiles, new music, and plenty of donuts and apple pies. After all, our hero needs his snacks right. The story takes place in the Cheeto region, a land filled with incredible technology and home to Bill, the inventor of the PC. Sounds like a tech paradise, but things take a dark turn when the professor's lab explodes. Our hero finds the professor barely alive, who entrusts him with Porygon 5.0, the latest and greatest version. Together, they must stop Team Hippie from destroying all technology. This game has some hilarious twists, like replacing HMs with key items and giving our hero a scooter instead of a bike because, well, he's not exactly a marathon runner. Pokemon Fat Kid has its fair share of obstacles, but with awesome tech, delicious snacks, and powerful Pokemon, our chubby protagonist is ready to take on the world. So guys, what do you think about these two amazing ROM hacks? Do they sound like something you'd want to play? Let me know in the comments. The next Pokemon game is Pokemon Sienna. Created by the mysterious manipulation, Pokemon Sienna takes you on a journey to challenge gyms, and eventually the Indigo Plateau. This region is being disturbed by an evil team. Plot twist. Nobody expected this in a Pokemon game. Jokes aside, the story kicks off as you receive a rejection letter from the Indigo League Trainer School in Kanto. Seriously, who do they think they are? Your only option is to set off on your own journey to prove them wrong. You'll be traveling through the all-new Volton region, making decisions that affect the storyline. Just think of it as a Pokemon-themed soap opera. But Pokemon Sienna doesn't stop there. Team Rocket is back with new members. And I gotta say, their fashion sense has improved. The game also features new sprites, original music, and fake mon. I know some of you doesn't like fake mon rom hacks, but the ones in this rom hack have cool designs and you can still use Pokemon to destroy them if you don't want them in your team. Well, maybe not all of them have cool designs. So guys, what do you think of Pokemon Sienna? Would you join the mysterious team? Leave them alone or stop them on your journey? Let me know in the comments below. Now, on to our second ROM hack, Pokemon Cloud White. Created by Shogun, the story starts off following the original Fire Red, but hold on to your Pokeballs, because after that, a new adventure begins for your hero in not one, not two, but five whole regions. You're basically a Pokemon Globetrotter. Some of the cool features in Pokemon Cloud White include new regions, rivals, villainous teams, graphics, moves, abilities, and battle backgrounds. There's even a national Pokedex from the start. I mean, who doesn't love starting a game with an overwhelming number of Pokemon to catch? But wait, there's even more. This ROM hack introduces updated mechanics, increased difficulty, and there's a place called the Colosseum that's similar to the Pokemon World Tournament. So, if you're into Pokemon Gladiator battles, you're gonna love this game. Pokemon Cloud White also has over 540 Pokemon from the first six generations, and you can even buy a house and customize it. As always, I love when a Pokemon ROM hack lets you buy a house. That's probably one of the features I like the most. There's also an open world, reverse battles, and a black market for all you shady characters out there. So guys, what are your thoughts on Pokemon Cloud White? Are you ready to take on the challenge and conquer five whole regions? Let me know in the comments. In conclusion, both Pokemon Sienna and Pokemon Cloud White offer unique and entertaining experiences for Pokemon fans. The next Pokemon game is Pokemon Shards. Now, if you're looking for a Pokemon adventure that's as tough as a Machamp's abs, then this fan game is for you. Shards is set in Tenebria, a peninsula that's as diverse as my Pokemon card collection. We've got biomes, species, and gym leaders as challenging as a Snorlax blocking your path. Seriously, these guys make Whitney's Mill Tank look like a magic harp. And guys, Pokemon Shards introduces new regional forms like this incredible Tenebria Pitov, which is inspired by the usual street gang thug, and therefore is flying dark type. There are some new fake mon too in this fan game, so a lot of new creatures and forms to discover are waiting for you. Now, let's talk about the plot. Picture this. Three races, humans, Pokemon, and elves, are at war. Not your usual tea party, right? 
And these golden knights appear, led by a human and a legendary Pokémon. Fast forward a few centuries, and our protagonist has to stop a new threat while collecting gym badges. Let's move on to the mechanics. If you're a fan of the 8th gen mechanics, this game got you covered. And there's a day and night system that even a Gligger would be proud of. Not to mention that the game throws some good mechanics of quality of life like the Poku Vial, which lets you heal your Pokémon outside the Pokémon Center, and a winged flute for flying. What do you guys think? Will you be exploring Tenebria and taking on the Golden Knights? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, moving on to Pokémon Cuerpo de Cristal. This is for all you nostalgic trainers out there. Created by Samuko, this game is a reimagination of Pokémon Crystal. So, if you ever wished for a Nuzlocke challenge in Heart Gold, your prayers have been answered. This fan game has a new way to play implemented. Basically, imagine playing a Nuzlocke challenge natively in a Pokémon game. Yep it's that intense. Oh, and did I mention you can have multiple save files and even trade Pokémon between them. It's like having your very own Pokémon multiverse. Now let's talk about the plot. Remember the legendary beasts? Well, they're back and kicking in Jotto. But here's the twist. They're hidden away in the burned tower. Think you've got what it takes to find them. Oh, and did I mention the crystal shard that lets certain Pokémon change forms? Yes, guys. This game takes evolution to a whole new level. The game also includes a city for your Pokémon to wander, trade, and use their attacks. It's like a Pokémon vacation spot. But don't forget about the secret bases, where you can invite members and conquer other bases. It's like your very own Team Rocket, but without the bad haircuts and not just with Zubat and coughing on your side. In short, if Pokémon Crystal was a Charmander, then Pokémon Cuerpo de Cristal is a Charizard on steroids. Now, I want to hear from you guys. Are you ready to take on the challenges and liberate the souls of the legendary beasts? Let me know in the comments. Now, I'll be honest guys, both games have their own charm and challenge. But before you rush off to download these games, there's something important to remember. Currently, both Pokémon Shards and Pokémon Cuerpo de Cristal are only available in Spanish. So, if you've been thinking about brushing up on your Spanish skills, now's the perfect time. And if you're already a Spanish speaker, then it's your lucky day. But I won't be the only one to judge. It's your turn guys. Which fan game do you think is more up your alley? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. And I promise, no Zubats were harmed in the making of this video. Remember you can also watch more awesome Pokemon games if you tap the videos that you have on screen. Thank you for watching this one and see you over there.